Good day, everyone. I'm I'm Randy Sumugaisai of West Visaya State University, and together with Dr. Eunice B. Sarmonia, I'll be presenting the courseware for disaster nursing or NCM one to one under the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program. To start with, disaster nursing deals with the application of concepts, principles, theories, techniques, and strategies in disaster risk reduction and management to groups of clients in any setting. The learners are expected to demonstrate safe, appropriate, and holistic care to clients utilizing the nursing process in reducing the risk of disaster to help save lives and build resilience. The following are the intended learning outcomes for this course. First is to apply knowledge of physical, social, natural, and health sciences and humanities in disaster risk reduction and management to groups of clients in any setting. Second is to provide safe, appropriate, and holistic care to individuals, families, population groups, and communities utilizing the nursing process in reducing the risk of disaster to help save lives and build resilience. Third, apply guidelines and principles of evidence-based practice in disaster nursing. Fourth, practice disaster risk reduction and management to groups of clients in accordance with existing laws legal, ethical, and moral principles. Fifth, communicate effectively with clients and support persons which are culturally appropriate and sensitive in disaster preparedness situations. Sixth, document to include reporting up-to-date client care in disaster situations accurately and comprehensively. Seventh, work, effect work effectively in collaboration with inter, intra, and multidisciplinary and multicultural teams in disaster situations. Eight, practice beginning management and leadership skills in disaster risk reduction and management to groups of clients in any setting using a persistence approach. Ninth, participate in research on disaster preparedness and risk reduction with an experienced researcher in preparation for future nursing practice. Then engage in lifelong learning with a passion to keep current with national and global developments in general and in disaster nursing in particular. 11. Demonstrate responsible citizenship and pride of being a Filipino. 12. Apply techno-intelligent care systems and processes in disaster risk reduction and management. 13. Adopt the nursing core values in the practice of the profession. And lastly, apply entrepreneurial skills in the delivery of nursing care. With the given intended learning outcomes, we have identified the following teaching and learning activities. For teaching activities, we have brainstorming, Q&A sessions, storyboarding, virtual tours, concept mapping, collaborative worksheets, building activities, online debates and presentations, timelines, graphic organizers. In order for the students to learn the subject or the course, we have identified various learning activities. We have reflections, virtual meetings, chats, wikis, forums, podcasts, and collaborative projects. As you have, as you have noticed, these activities were clustered according to individual tasks, sync sessions, and async asynchronous sessions. For reflections, the students may submit blogs or blogs, reflection papers, and uh, self-evaluation of their learning. For the virtual meetings, we have the guided discussions and our traditional lectures. For chat, we have the guided discussions, Q&A sessions, and your small group discussions. For wikis, we have uh, sharing of best practices, collaborative authoring, virtual collage, gallery, and the development tool uh, team collaboration where applications may be developed in support of uh, disaster preparedness and disaster uh, response activities. Then we have also forum for continued group discussions, individual reflections. Then we have podcasts. Uh, for voice reflection, check-ins, radio ads, and practice communication, which is also ideal for students who are practicing emergency communication with the use of handheld radios. 
Then we are, lastly, we have collaborative projects, your collaborative paper, voice threads, and research project. To aid us in the teaching and learning activities, we have various technological tools available online. Aside from our learning management systems, we have also our online uh, video call uh, applications. We have also your augmented reality, our assessment tools, uh, podcasts, and micro learning applications. So we have your Zoom, your Google Lens, Kahoot as an example. Uh, also for creation of materials, we have also Canva. To assess our students, uh, we use also Socrative and Mentimeter and also Padlet. Uh, to share information uh, worldwide, we could also use TED-Ed and Trello. And sometimes we also use MindMeister. But among the various technological tools available online, I would be focusing on Triage, which is a online application developed by Loma Linda University Health, which is a gamification of the triage process. Attached here also is a QR code for both Android users and Apple users so that they could use these QR codes to download the said application to have an overview or experience this uh, useful application in the practice of triage in specific to the disaster nursing uh, activities. In the assessment of the students in this course, we have uh, various assessment tasks that could be assigned. So specifically, we have our written tasks and our performance-based tasks. For written, we have essays, reflective journals, quizzes, portfolios, forums, case studies, examinations. For performance-based, we have the development of websites, group works, oral presentations, seminars, demonstrations, simulations, and researches. In order to assess these uh, tasks, we have the various assessment tools also. For written tasks, we have our answer keys. And for the performance base, we have our rubrics and performance rating scales. However, uh, for essays and also reflective journals, we tend to use rubrics or performance rating scales in order to evaluate these assessment tasks. As a summary for this course, we should always remember that this course has an expectation that the students should be able to demonstrate safe, appropriate, and holistic care uh, to clients utilizing the nursing process in reducing the risk of disaster to help save lives and build resilience. With that, we should remember that the teaching and learning activities should focus on the specific tasks, such as uh, for the teaching activities, it should be focused on what instructors should do in order to make the students understand specific concepts in this course. While students, on the other hand, should experience specific scenarios or simulations or demonstrations for them to fully appreciate their lessons. Then we have also technological tools that are available to aid both the students and instructors in the learning process and not to burden, burden themselves by it. Lastly, in assessing the students for their learning, proper assessment tools should be employed based on the assessment task assigned to the learners. So once again, uh, on behalf of uh, Dr. Uni Sermonia and uh, West Visayas State University, uh, this is the courseware for Disaster Nursing or NCM 121 under the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program.